afternoon, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. I'm with Caleb today, and we're unboxing the new bike we got in today, which is the Cyrusher Ovia. Um, we're going to do again do the unboxing and the assembly. So Caleb's going to uh, explain a little bit about it as he's going along here, as far as uh, putting this thing together. So let's give it a go. Well, getting into the unboxing now. Uh, Dan here took off the straps. Make sure we got the right color. Yeah. We're figuring this the easiest way to do it is go ahead and cut the box down the side and we'll go ahead and take it out of the box that way. Again, I want to thank Cy Rusher for sending this over you to me to review. We ordered this bike in red, as you can see. Of course, the unboxing probably takes about as long as it does to assemble it. There we go. Now it's down. Now it's down. All right. Well, there's the front wheel and the uh, front fender. Yes. It's a little different. So here it is. Here it is in the uh, box. Took the one side of foam off there. This is how it is. Right here. Now we'll start getting it out right now. Yeah. That's nice. That's a heavy duty uh, frame on there. No wonder it's so heavy. Yeah, it seems a lot more heavy duty than, than the, the side uh, rusher. Than, well, it it's is a side rusher side. too. Well, I mean, now, then now the, we gotta say, Komoda. Yeah, now we got to say Komoda. And Sorry Ovia. about that. Side rusher's uh, side rusher, but uh, we have the Komoda as well. And this one seems to be a heavier bike. But of course, again, it's got a bigger motor on it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, bigger battery. It's got a 52 volt, 17 amp hour battery on this bike, where the Komoda is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. So. Yeah, here it is. Caleb's going to start assembling this thing. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section. So I guess we can get all the packaging off of Should it. Should get some zip ties cut off. Yeah. There's one here for sure. Got to get that thing tight wherever it's at. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really do it with these snips. Hey, they got some air in the tire. <laughs> now you can get that thing put together. All right, now we're uh, getting the handlebars on real quick. So I think Cy Rusher may have changed to Logan on their bikes for their uh, hydraulics. Logan is out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, just north of us here. Okay. We'll put the wheel on next, the seat or the headlight. Let's go for the wheel. Want we'll to go for the wheel? All right. That way we can get the thing up and maybe uh, put it on the um, kickstand. Okay, again, Caleb's about to put the tire on it, the front tire, which is right here. As you can see, they got both of these ends um, protected. So it didn't get damaged, the threads during uh, shipping. So Caleb is about ready to pop on the front tire here. You could always Let me get press this the side. back brake. Yep. The reason we're pressing this back brake so this bike don't slide on us backwards is we're uh, taking this rod off the um, front fork. And that's pretty important to remember when you guys are... Um, either turning these bikes upside down or working on them, you always want to keep the rear brake on or the other one, depending on which tire you're working on. I'll need the uh, snips. Okay. The, uh, the front brake caliper has a little spacer in there so you don't compress the... Yes, the front brakes. Good thing we didn't hit the front one, huh? 
Of course, it wouldn't have done anything until you popped that out. Yep. Then it would have done something. So you never want to compress the brake once you've got that little spacer out of there until you get it on the um, rotor because you will uh, either lose fluid. Okay, Caleb's going to install the uh, bolts. This one does not have a quick release. Um, some of my e-bikes do have the quick release on the front. A lot of people don't like the quick release because they think they can steal your tire, which they could. But I kind of like it uh, built into the bike with bolts and nuts on both sides of the uh, tire. Extra assurance that it Extra assurance off. is not coming off is right. So Caleb will tighten up the rest of this um, bolt here and that'll be the tire. Okay, Caleb's going to put the kickstand down now so we can uh, let the bike rest on its own here. Ready? There we go. So this is where we got it so far. We have front wheel on, handlebars on, and then now it's onto the uh, headlight pedals, seat. And seat post, yeah. Yeah. I think that's the last three things. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go inside and we're gonna charge the battery. Um, this come with a three amp charger and then uh, We'll give it a little juice here, a little charge until we get this thing out. And Caleb is going to now work on your pedals. Well, now I'm going to go put these pedals on right here. Here's one of them. So if you look right here, you pull back on this and then you can spin the pedal. It locks in place like that. And then you can uh, pull on it again and it pops. All right, so I'll show you guys this real quick. If you see in the end here, there is a uh, Allen head there. So you can put your Allen wrench in there and then it makes it easier to put the pedals on. So you go from the inside of the cranks and then tighten them on. Yeah, we're really liking this, um, we call it a nostalgic looking headlight. It's, uh, it looks old school, but I was watching a previous video and um, and the video, the channel name is Prepper Princess. You guys may want to visit that. She also did a review on the Ovia. She was riding at nighttime, and she also had her dog with her. So I'm going to give uh, Prepper Princess a shout out. And uh, yeah, she got the gray one where I really wanted the red one that they sent to me. So but Caleb's dog assembling this headlight or disassembling it so we can put it up on the uh, bracket here. So it's what we're working on now. You can see what Dan was talking about here. Nice headlight. I mean, super nice. And uh, yeah, has a. I did uh, buy one thing uh, separately here that Caleb's going to mount on this as as well. Um, these are a bar that goes on the handlebars to where you can uh, have other mounting points for like cameras or phones or things like that. So I got them on all my bikes. I'll put a description down in the description box of some of this stuff that we were gonna put on as accessories. So yeah, I really like this. I have it on the Cy Rusher and the Zoda and I really like having this extra bar. Those tighten the actual light down. If you guys look at this right here, here's the headlight just installed. Uh, wiring for it right here. And uh, yeah, next is the uh, front fender. Mm -hmm. find, find which one you want. I got metric and uh, the other here. All right. Find which one works the best while I'm loosening this uh, controller, I mean this uh, screen. Caleb just now putting together the um, fender, and I'm still working on this um, display so I can uh, move it around here a little bit. But these little wrenches they give you are not easy to work with. For now, but Caleb's going to uh, put the seat on. And, uh, 
Yeah. Here it is. Fully finished. Got the uh, nice headlight here. Uh, front fender. Got our display put where we want it. And uh, yeah, going around this. Some nice things is the rear suspension here, uh, rear rack, and it uh, looks like they have a different tail light too. Well, it does, don't it? The other one's red. That's if that's an actual tail light though. Well, that's red too, but I'm not sure if there's any wires going to it. You know what? I don't see any wires going to it. That's just a reflector. Yeah. I don't see any uh, wires going to that. But we got that. We may change that out later. Looks like a nice derailleur on the back for shifting gears, and yeah. What's the derailleur cable? I mean, uh, what is the manufacturer on the derailleur on this, do you know? Uh, Does it say who it is? No, it says Torney on it. Yeah, Torney, that seems to be a very common derailleur. The only thing I see here I wish they would have done is they should have had a bracket to go over this derailleur so if your bike falls, you're not going to damage that derailleur. And we have done that on the Komoda as well. Yes. That's why we had to change the derailleur. Uh, Caleb crashed on it, just slid into mud, and he went down. Which, But that's what happened. The derailleur hanger got built, bent, and the derailleur itself was bent. So if they would have had a bracket over this, that would have not happened. So that would be an improvement I would like to see Side Rusher make. And um, we're going to put an aftermarket uh, bracket on there as well yeah that's if we can find one yeah see if we can find one there you go but uh yeah that's it fully assembled we'll get a uh video of dan here riding it in a couple minutes yep yeah so got dan putting the battery in real quick and, uh, yeah first power on of the uh Cy rusher ovia this must have be to it. use the uh, key oh good point that ain't going without that key, is it? I forgot about that. That's just like the other bikes. You can see right down here. Key goes in. After I get the plastic cover off of it. And pops in. And it's got a little clamp up here, Caleb, to where I actually think that uh, holds the battery if you want to push that clamp down on yeah. that. But anyway, go ahead and, go ahead and uh, power it on, Caleb. All right, yeah. And uh, while you're filming there, and see what it looks like. I'm not sure where the power button is on that one, but... It's got one on the bottom and all, like Cy Rusher does. There it is. There it is. I don't know if they can see it, but... Yeah, with that reflection. Power it on now. And yeah, you want to quickly take it out there? Let's go do that. There is Dan riding past. Seems pretty fast. I'm out here on the uh, Komoda. Uh, that thing seems pretty fast. You can see him. What are, what are your first impressions on it? Fast. Yeah. Only 27. But I, if I'd have started a little farther down, I did not start out in pedal assist five. So if I'd have went to pedal assist by initially, we'd have probably got to 30. And you can always go into the computer and do more. Probably. Yeah, because this has got factory settings and we may be able to look into a video and see what uh, we can do to change that on the um, Ovia. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna ride on down to a, uh, another e-biker's house next block over.